Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 119. Day 3119. 3 is to signify the fact that we're in a third edition. Third edition, day 119. We are on the topic of combinations versus permutations. And today is our ninth video in the series of 10. Ninth lesson in the series of 10. If you're interested in watching the first five, the first five were done from day number 3096 to 3100. First five videos. Then from day 3101 to 3115, we did probability. We did probability from day 3101 to day 3115 we had 15 lessons on the topic of probability in the event that you need help with that topic and then we went back and did five more here we've been doing five more today is the last one we're going to do problem number 10, problem number 10 that you find on page number 321 on the data analysis exercises. I hope the book is in front of you. Open the, open the book, turn to page 321 and re let's read the problem together, shall we? It says, a talent, a talent contest has eight contestants. Judges must, must award, judges must award prizes for first, second and third place. It should say places, not prize. First, second and third places. With no ties, we cannot have any ties. We cannot have two people getting the same same place. How many different ways can the judge award prices? Or how many different ways? How does the book say? How many different ways can judge award the three prices? There you go. Well, we are awarding three prices: first prize, first prize, second prize, and third prize. Of course, here order matters. Order, of course, matters. Order matters. Of course it matters. It makes a big difference whether A has the first prize, B has the second prize, C has the third prize, or B has the first prize, A has the second prize, and so on and so forth. Whether C has the first prize, order matters here. Since order matters, this problem is permutation. This problem is dealing with the notion of permutations. So let's find out, shall we? How many different ways can we give out the first prize? Well, there are eight people. So there are eight possible ways we can award the first prize. How many different ways can we award a second prize? Obviously seven ways, because there are seven people left. How many different ways can a third prize be given? There are six ways, because there are six people left. That's it, that's our answer. Eight sevens are 56. 56 times 6. 6 times 6 is 6. 6 is 36. 6 carry 3. 6 fives are 30 plus 3 is 33. So it looks like we have 336, 336 different ways that these prizes can be awarded. First prize, second prize, third prize. The same thing would have been that same thing would have been true instead of talking about first prize, second prize, and third prize. We could have asked ourselves. So here I'm giving you a different problem. This was this was part A, but I'm giving I'm, I'm going to, we're going to word it differently. So here we have a group of eight people from which three are, going to, three are to be chosen to serve as president, vice president, and treasurer. They are not serving on a committee with no titles. If, you, if they were simply serving on a committee with no titles, then there would have been a combination. The order wouldn't matter. A group of three people, whether it's ABC or BAC or CAB, is the same group. Order wouldn't matter. That's not what we're dealing with here. We are picking three people to serve as a president, vice president, and treasurer. Position matters, order matters. It's the exact same problem as before, exact same problem. There are 336 ways that we can pick three people to serve on a committee in the capacity of president, vice president, and a treasurer if we had a total of eight people. Let's do part B. Let's do part B. Part B says, How many, how many different, group of three people, 
can get private. How many, how many different groups of three people can get prices? Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? So here we're talking about, here we're talking about a group of people, a group of three people. Here's a group of three people, A, B, and C. That's a group of three people. How about, how about B, A, C? That's another group. How about C, A, B? That's another group. Isn't it? You can have, you can have A, B, and then C, or B, A, and that C, or we can put B first, B, and then A, and then C, and then put C in the middle, or we can have C in the, we can choose C first, and then A, and then B, or we can put Q, C first, and then B, and then A. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six groups. Are there six groups? No, there are not six groups. This is one group. This is just one group. It's the same three people. It's a group of three people. Whether whether you pick A first and then B or C and then uh, then C or you whether you pick C first and then B and then A, it's a group of three people. Group of three people simply means exactly what it says. It's just a group of three people. Order does not matter when we're talking about groups of something. Here, order does not matter. Order does not matter. Here, order does not matter. When we talk about group of three people, since order does not matter, we're not dealing with permutations, we're dealing with combinations. We're dealing with combinations. So let's do it on the top here. How many different ways can we pick a first person? Eight different ways. How many different ways can we pick a second person? Seven different ways. But as soon as we pick a second person, we'll begin to double count. We'll, we'll, let's, look, let's look at two people, a pair, a, pair, a pair, let's say A, B, and then B, A. Well, A, B, and B, A are not two different pairs. It's the same pair. As soon as we pick a second person, we'll begin to double count. We'll begin to double count. How do we undo it? How do we, for example, let's take, a, let's, take a simple, let's take a simple example. Let's take a very simple example and you will see. You will see exactly what's going on here. Let's pretend instead of eight people, let's pretend that we only have four people, just to keep it simple. A, B, C, D, just to keep it simple. This is nothing new. We have done this thing many, many times. I'm repeating it probably for the fifth time here in all the series here. Tomorrow is our last day and then we are done. So let's pick, let's pick two people out of these four. Okay, watch what happens. Watch what happens. A, B, C, D. Let's pick a pair. Watch what happens. A, B, A, C, A, D, and then B, A, B, C, B, D, and then C, A, C, B, and C, D, and then D, A, D, A, D, B, and D, C. You see, we have picked two people. We have picked two people first. Huh? So there are, if there are four people, let's deal with you. So since we have there are four people, let's ask ourselves what, what, what happens. There are four people. How many different ways can we pick a first person? Or four different ways. How many different ways can we pick a second person? Of course, three different ways because there are three left out of after we have picked the first person out of these four. There are only three people left. So I have three different ways of picking the second person. Do we really have 12 different ways of picking a pair? That's the question here. Do we, do we have, do you see 12 different pairs here? No, we do not see 12 different pairs. It's just a pair. It's just a group of people. AB is the same pair as BA. It's not a different pair. Similarly, AC is the same, same pair as there should be CA right here. So that should not have been counted. This should not have been counted. AD is the same pair as BA. That should not have been counted. Everything is double counted. We do not have... We do not have we do not have 12 different pairs, we only have 6 different pairs. We have only 6 different pairs here. How do we undo it? It looks like we have 12 pairs. This, this math tells us there are 12 pairs. How do we undo it? We just take half as many. As soon as we start, as we soon, as soon as we start to pick a second person, we begin to double count. And since we are double counting, just take half as many and problem solved. We only have 6 pairs. So let's start, let's list our 6 pairs properly now. Let's list our 6 pairs properly. 
we are not going to double count, we are just going to count this. We are just going to count our pairs properly. There should be six of them, not twelve. So here we go. A, B, C, and D. Here we go. A, B, A, C, A, D. So there's three. Then B, C, B, D, and then finally C, D. There we go. You see, we have six distinct pairs. We have six pairs, not twelve. And now the math is correct because we divided the amount, the how many ways we counted to pick a pair, and we are taking half as many. We eliminated the repetition. We divide by two because everything was double counted, and to eliminate the repetition, we divide the amount by two, whatever the amount is on the top. Except in this problem, we do not have four people, we have eight people. So it's going to be eight times seven, and then we're going to take half as many. But let's continue with this thing and see what happens when we pick a third person. Okay, watch what happens. Now we're going to pick a third person and see what happens. So if you pick A first and then B out of these four people, how many different ways can we pick a third person? Well, we can, we have, we can either pick a C or a D. If you pick A and C as our pair, how many different ways can we pick a second person? We can either pick B or a D. If we pick A and D as our pair, how many different ways can we pick a third person? Either B or a C. Let's continue. If you have B and C, how many different ways can we pick a third person? A or D. If you have BD, we can have either A or C. If you have CD, we can have either A and B. Now watch what happens. Watch what happens. Now we're going to find out that as soon as we make a group of three people, but see when we are picking, then we, when we are making pair, as soon as we pick the second person, we started double counting. Now we already have pairs. We know we had six possible pairs. We fixed that problem by taking half as many. That problem is fixed. And now we already have a pair. We have chosen two people already. And now we are trying to figure out what happens when we pick a third person? Well, what's going to happen is that as soon as you begin to pick a third person, every group is going to be counted three times. That is going to be triple counting. There are going to be triple counting. For example, because it's a group, you see? For example, a group of A, B, and C is the same group as, as B, C, and A. You see the B, C, and A, which is same as A, C, and B. There you go, A, C, and B. You see that? Let's do one more. A group of A, B, and C, A, D, and C, A, D, and C is the same group as C, D, and A. It's the same three people. Same three people. These are not. There should be one more. A, C, D. You see A, A, C, and D. They counted three times. It's the same group of three people. You cannot count them three times. How do I undo it? How do we undo it? So how, we, how if you have if you have if you have four people, there are four ways to pick a first person, three ways to pick a second person. We begin to double count, so we divide the number amount by two. Now, how many different ways can we pick a third person? Well, after we have picked two people out of four, there are only two left. So there are two ways of picking a third person, and everything is triple counted. So we have to divide that by three. Just watch what happens. Okay, watch what happens. What does the math tell us? Math, math tells us, math tells us that see, two and two times three is going to cancel out with. Math tells us that there are only four different ways of picking, of making. Four different ways of making a group of three people out of four. There are only four different ways of making a group, of group of three peoples. Because everything is triple counted, we have to divide by three. Why is that? Why is that? Why are there only four groups? But the answer is very simple for it. The answer is very straightforward. Here are the four people. Watch what happens. Here are the four peoples. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay? Let's put a box around it so we can keep it separate. So there is four people sitting in the room. Okay, listen carefully. Four people are sitting in the room and I tell you, why don't you go in this room? I need three people to move the couch. What do I need to do? Move a couch. The nature of the problem tells you that the order doesn't matter. Three people are going to move the couch. There is no first person, the, the head of the moving committee. There is no such thing. It's just three people to move the couch. Or three people to serve on a jury. There are four, there are four equally qualified people. The court has said that these four people are all equally qualified to be on the jury. But we only need three juries. So how does the court pick three out of four? They just pick it in a random manner. They're going to pick just randomly three people. The question is, how many different ways can you pick three people out of four? To serve on a jury, or to move a couch, or to work on a project. Let's, the math tells us there are only four ways. Why? Here's why. 
So I tell you that there are four people in the room. Please bring me three people to help me move this couch. So you can go in this room and you say to yourself, but well, I'm not going to pick D. Or you can go in that room and say, I'm not going to pick C. Or you go in the room and say, I'm not going to pick B. Or you can go in the room and say, I don't want A. Oh, there you go. There are your three peoples. There are, there are, your, there are four ways. Of, there you go. There, these are the four ways you can pick your three people. There you go. You can either have A, B, C, or A, B, D, or A, C, D, or B, C, D. There is your math. Do you understand? Now let's do the eight people. Now let's do the eight people. Where can we? I don't want to erase any of this thing. Let's do eight people. Let's do eight people right here. So how many different ways can we pick a first person out of eight? So now we don't have four people. We have eight people. We have eight people. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now we are back to our problem that is given in the book. How many different ways can we pick? First person, the answer is eight different ways. How many different ways can we pick a second person? Seven different ways. But we know as soon as we begin to second, se pick a second person, we're going to repeat things. We're going to we're going to start double counting. So we take half as many problems solved. Now we pick a third person. How many different ways can we pick a third person? Six different ways. But as, as you know, as soon as we pick a third person, each group is going to be triple counted. We can't have triple counting. We need to undo it. How do we undo it? But well, whatever the quantity is, we need to take a third of that. We are done. We are done. That's it. So how many different ways can we pick a group of three people out of eight? Well, this two, this two times three, which is six. Two times three is six. That six cancels out. That six cancels out with that six. And the answer simply is, there are 56 different ways. 56 different ways of picking three people out of eight. There are 56 ways of making a group of three people out of eight, which is what the question was asking. The question was, how many different groups of three people can can the, can can get the prize? The answer is there are 56 ways, and that's all there was. See you tomorrow. Okay, I know. Tomorrow we'll do the very last problem for uh, under, uh, in, under the topic of permutation and combination, which is the problem number. What problem number was this? This was problem number, the one we just finished, was problem number 8. Oh, uh, problem number 10 rather. Problem number 10. This was problem number 10. And tomorrow we'll do the very last problem on the topic of permutation and combination. And there is no such problem in the book there under the data analysis. The next question actually deals with probability. So tomorrow that problem that we'll do is a bonus problem. It's not something that you will find in the book. I'll give it to you tomorrow obviously. Okay, bye now.